The action of World Championship Wrestling continues this weekend on Worldwide Brain. Brain. What? You need to pay attention to me when I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm watching everything. Yuji Nakata makes his way out here without Sonny Ono. Sonny's here. He, here's his new protege. Not not this lady, but the new protege of Sonny Ono is. But that guy was holding the two fingers up. No, Yuji Nagata. And Sonny is here, though. And the fans are on him already. Sonny is in the crowd right now with his camera. He told me he was going to film, tape this match from the audience. But no one will know where he's at. Any of you people watching that was at Universal, look to the person next to you. It may be Sonny Ono. It has an international flair, this match, don't it? Great Britain and Japan, you're right. And two very polished pro wrestlers here, especially Steve Regal. Both from different training backgrounds. The Japanese, uh, very, very disciplined in what they do. Everything's so important. And the British, stiff upper lip. Very focused on, focused on what they do. Yeah, and if you're Regal, very arrogant. Snooty. I like snooty people. You should. You're one of them. Are you saying I'm snooty? Yes, you are. You're very arrogant. Very snooty. Try to be prim and proper. I used to know a girl at school had big nostrils. They said she was snooty. All right, the bell sounds. Here we go for this next matchup on WCW Worldwide. First then she went out and got the job as Miss Piggy. Well, she's doing great now. Don't worry about her. I'm not. She was on Sunday one day. I, I remember, I, I could smell bacon for a week. I don't want... Would you stop, please? Good go behind by Nagata. And look how Regal tried to get him down, Bray. That's right. This Nagata, doesn't he have... Uh, some great amateur credentials. Yes. Tell me what they are. Former amateur champion in Japan competed in the Olympics as well. Pretty good credentials. I would say so. He's one of the top. But that's wrestling for nothing, though. That's amateur. You don't get nothing. Well, you get respect. You get experience. Yeah, but take that to the bank. You don't get nothing. You still get a sucker from the tower telling you to come back when you got some cash. I want to remind you that WCW's World War III is later here in the month of November. And, of course, the event will originate with the Palace of Auburn Hills in Metro Detroit. And, of course, most of our fans will see it on pay-per-view. You can bring it right into your own home by calling your local cable operator, calling DirecTV for Direct Ticket, the Dish Network, or Turner Premier for Satellite Dish Owners. It's WCW's World War III, Sunday, November 23rd, from WCW. Regal's having a little language problem here with the referee. He's trying to tell him to count the three, and the referee doesn't seem to know what three is. Mickey Jay's an experienced referee. Therefore, he knows what three is. He's been in the ring, too. He wrestled a little bit. You know, he's been around. You don't, you don't have a nice word to say about anyone. You never do. You're always ripping people apart. Well, I said Mickey Make, Jones. Making I mean. fun of their family, not knowing what a three count is. What are you talking about? Okay, he can count to three. You feel better? Yeah. Around six and seven, he gets a little stumped, but up to three, he's fine. European uppercut. In the corner, Nagata caught him there in a headbutt that was right below the sternum, right below the ribcage there. Regal has the experience in this match, there's no doubt about that. But some of these Japanese wrestlers, you know, they start at a very young age. They start in their teens. Nagata, not only that, training, I mean, for someday to become a professional. Master of submission holds, the art of submission wrestling, and that's what Nagata's all about. Here's one right here. Right there. Regal, smart enough to know he's got so much distance to the ropes and better get there quick. Or that shoulder's torn off. Oh! You could hear that back in Nagasaki. And again. You could hear that back in... 
Buckingham Palace. What a nice place that is. You've been to Buckingham Palace? Yeah. Only and on, everybody? Only on the outside. I mean, oh, no, I've I been mean, there having tea and a little cookie. He took me there one day. I don't believe that. Oh, yeah. I'll show you the ashtrays. I, got. I mean, I've been there. Uh -huh. That would be like you. Now where is he going? Oh! He's going over the top oh, oh. and down to Matt Hard. Mickey J in position for the one count only. Regal has the type of ability. Boy, he dropped him on the back of his head. That could win World War III. Not only that, Regal has garnered no friends during his tenure in WCW. Therefore, it makes him kind of a loner. And thus... He won't have anyone help him throw anyone else out. As a matter of fact, Regal would be the type of guy that everyone would gun for. Because they just don't like him. And they know how dangerous he can be in that kind of a match. I think Regal's problem here in, oh, at almost. WCW, like you said, is he's alienated himself from everybody. And he just doesn't like Americans. And he lets you know it right off the bat. So you're not going to get that little extra hesitation count. You're not going to get any little thing going in your way got to make friends with some people sometime whether you like them or not used to team well here's a cover by the gun again and Regal almost got pinned again used to team with Dave Taylor but that association no longer together Regal is a loner there is no question about that an elbow to the back of the head and here goes the gun over the side headlock Regal fighting to get out of it and he clips the legs out from underneath him Drives the shoulder into the knee in the gutta, and that's going to change the complexion of this thing here, Brain. Oh, now it's his turn to kick him in the back. He gave you two. You got one more coming. Where's he going to pot him now? On the top rope. Wow, look at those maneuvers. You got a sport in a cauliflower either, isn't he? He's right here. I believe he is. Air Nagata. Oh. Air Nagata crash landing, I might add. And now Regal grapevines the legs up and puts on the Regal stretch. Tap the mat, Yogi. You're not going anyplace. It's Yuji, and that's what he did. He patted the mat. Regal hit butts him while he still got him in the hold. One talented individual is Regal. Steve Regal is your winner. You can bring us from Japan, from Mexico, and from this fantastic land. And I'll keep laying them down as long as there's a bone to fight me. Yes. There's plenty to fight Regal. What is he talking about? Pathetic. Man. Oh, that's pathetic. Yep.